YouTube darlings, as you can see, I'm just finished wrapping up the tutorial video and I'm doing a Let's Talk with Rip Reed and I'm sorry about all the noise in the background while I'm trying to do my YouTube video darlings. But yeah, this I was going to do a different topic, but today I'm doing this topic due to something that just happened. So anyway, this is basically about the difference between being me and being real. And there is definitely a difference in being a hater. No, I'm just playing. We're not here today. But basically what happened, my cousin asked me to do two things. I'm only tell y'all one thing because the other thing is like, well, she asked me to borrow one of my sweaters. Fine. No problem. So I said she want to wear it on the, over the weekend. So I said I want it back by Monday. That to me, she considered that being mean. That to me is not being mean. That's being real and getting what you got to do and getting what you want. Because when you let people borrow stuff, they don't know how to return it. They return it on what? They I give you something today, you give it back to me in March. For what? If you, if you, I feel like if I let you borrow something for today, you will need it for today. I want it back tomorrow. Keep it on it with you, like... I feel like that's fair and sometimes you got to tell people like look I need my stuff like that's not being mean that's being real like if you want to sit up and borrow stuff then you're gonna have to get some rules come along with it especially if you're a person that commonly doesn't return stuff on time like you the type of person that I always got to be on your back asking for stuff to be returned but you know I feel that it's a common misconception between being mean and being real and to me, a mean person is a person that's like, just mean. Like, you be dancing like, hey, hey, hey. And then they'll just be like, what are you dancing for? That's a mean person because, like, me dancing is not affecting your day, your life, or anyone else's life in no way, shape, or form. So why would you say, what am I dancing for? That's being mean. Be in control of yourself, your stuff, or anything that you own, or anything that you feel is personal to you, or your personal space. And you telling somebody, like, look, can you back up? Can you fall back? Can you leave me alone? Can you return my stuff? Can you blah, 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 blah. That's not being mean. That's just being in control of your life. That's what I consider that. And a lot of people, they don't like to hear the truth. They don't like to hear, they don't like to be... They don't want like to hear the truth, and they don't like to have somebody tell them what to do. It make them, them it makes them feel like they're being sunned. And if you don't know what sunned means, it's like, like I'm trying to trying to rule you. Like I'm trying to put you in your place. I'm not trying to put you in your place. I'm just trying to let you know. Like, look, this is how I want it done. This is how it's gonna get done. And that's this, this is common. Like even like you hear like celebrities talk about it. Like I remember Nicki Minaj talked about it in her documentary. Like. How could she a female? If she get loud, everybody look at her like she a bitch. If a man do it, everybody look at him like, oh, he the man. Like, blah, blah, blah. No, boo boo. Like, you got to set boundaries in your life. Like, and set rules sometimes. Like, for real. Because people just, they don't got no sense. And they be, people like to step out of character a lot. Like, I mean, if that make me a bitch, then I'm a bitch. Straight like that. Like. I think I'm a nice person for the most part, like, really, but, um, I mean, lately I've been putting people in their place and they consider that to be me and that's not being me. I'm telling you what you did was wrong or what you're doing I don't like. That's being mean by me telling you the truth. You don't like the truth. You don't like that? That's not mean to me. That's me keeping it real. And that's just what it is. Like, a lot of people don't like to hear the real, but they always say they, they, they hang with real people. I, I real recognize real, but you can't even handle the truth. You can't even handle the real. Come on. And another thing too is if you if you don't want to be put in a situation where you feel like you getting sunned or you getting you feeling low, don't put yourself in certain situations. Like that's how I feel. Like if you if you don't want to hear me tell you, give me my sweater back on Monday. Don't ask to borrow my sweater. Straight like that. Like, you you don't need that sweater that bad. That's how I am. I know I'm like that. I am petty and my pride is too goddamn high. I will not ask to borrow nothing from nobody 
Because I don't want no ground rules. I don't want them being like, oh, but you made, I let you borrow this last week. You can't let me hold something? No, I can't. Because a lot of people, what they do is they, they're they nice to you, not because they're genuinely nice to you. Or they'll, they'll let you borrow something, not because they genuinely want you to borrow it. They do it for something in return. And to me, that's not real. Like, I don't want nothing from you. I don't want anything from you if you're giving it to me. Just so that in the end, you can have something in return. If you want to give me something, give me something out of love. Like, out of like, yo, you really deserve this. Or uh, you could borrow this. You could have that. Because you feel like I could have it. Not because if some, something happened in your life, you want to make sure that I'm settled. Like, I'm like some freaking payment plan in your life. But this topic went left, right, up, down, side to side. But hopefully the topic is all meshed in well. <laughs> and I will see you guys later. Subscribe and watch my last Let's Talk with Brit Bree. Talking about stunting for social media. Okay, living in a, driving a Benz, living in a shack.